This is an RTV6 update working for you. I'm Lauren Casey and here are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. An update now to a Call 6 investigation into American citizens in Indiana not getting stimulus checks because their spouse's immigration status. Earlier this month we told you that hundreds of thousands of mixed status families will not get the payments. Mostly American citizens married to undocumented immigrants like Jeanette Sanchez of Noblesville. But pending legislation could change things for these families. The HEROES Act just approved by the House would allow some with the taxpayer identification number to get a stimulus check even if they don't have a social security number. Call 6 Investigates asked U.S. Senator Mike Braun if he would support similar legislation on the Senate side. As long as the uh, spouse that isn't a citizen is a legal immigrant and in the process of, you know, uh, getting uh, full citizenship, I'm going to be for that. Uh, I think Marco Rubio might have some uh, legislation in the Senate that would reflect that. Uh, to me, uh, legal immigration is such an important part of what our country is about. Uh, we do more of it than any other country in the world. The Senate has not voted yet on the 1800-page HEROES Act. If you ride in to go to get to and from work, you're going to want to pay attention to this. The transit company announcing its plan to return to normal service schedules. Beginning June 1st, Indigo will resume operating on regular weekday schedules Monday through Friday. Saturday and Sunday service will continue as usual. Riders are asked to continue to leave space between themselves and other riders whenever possible and to wear face covering on board if they are able to. It is time now for a check of our forecast on this Thursday, so let's check in with Todd. Hey, Todd. Lauren, we are going to be dealing with below normal temperatures once again today and quite a bit of cloud cover, but we do have warmer days in uh, the forecast going forward. About 66 today in Indy, 68 in Terre Haute, a little cooler to the east where we'll deal with more in the way of clouds. And in eastern locations, there could be a stray light rain shower as we get into the afternoon and evening hours. I wouldn't cancel any plans over it, just know it will be possible. Tomorrow we make the jump up into the 70s with a little bit more in the way of sunshine. And then as we head into Memorial Day weekend. Temperatures return to the 80s and we keep the 80s around for several days in a row. With the warmth though, will come the chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms. All right, Todd, thanks so much. For more stories and weather you need to know, you can download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.